Now we shall start with the first exercise. The first question is, is 0 a rational number? Can you write it in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0? So the solution for this question is, yes, 0 is a rational number because 0 can be written in the form of p by q that is 0 can be written as 0 by 1 or 0 by 2 which is equal to 0 by 3. 0 by any number gives 0 as a rational number. Here the denominator can also be negative. Therefore 0 can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. Now let us move on to the second question in the exercise. The second question is find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. So let's go to the solution. Here we need to find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. When we need to find n rational numbers, between two integers, we need to express the rational numbers with denominator as n plus 1. That is, here in the question, we need six rational numbers between 3 and 4. So, we express the rational numbers 3 and 4 with denominator as 7. So, let us find the equivalent rational numbers so let's multiply 3 by 1 with 7 on both the numerator and denominator. This gives 3 times 7 is 21 by 1 times 7 is 7. Hence 3 is expressed as 21 by 7 where 7 is the denominator. Now let us multiply 4 by 1 with 7 on both the numerator and denominator. So we get 4 times 7 is 28 by 1 times 7 is 7. Hence 4 is expressed as 28 by 7 where 7 is the denominator. Therefore the 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4 are 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7, 25 by 7, 26 by 7 and 27 by 7. Now let us move on to the third question. The question is find 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Now let's move to the solution. The given two rational numbers are 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. To obtain 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5, let us first consider 3 by 5. Now we shall multiply 3 by 5 with 10 on both the numerator and denominator. This gives 3 times 10 is equal to 30 by 5 times 10 is equal to 50. Now we shall also consider 4 by 5 and we will multiply 4 by 5 with 10 on both the numerator and denominator. So we get 4 times 10 is 40 by 5 times 10 is 50. So here we have obtained the equivalent rational numbers for 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Therefore the 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 are 31 by 50, 32 by 50, 33 by 50, 34 by 50, and 35 by 50. Now let us move on to the fourth question. The fourth question is state whether the following statements are true or false. Give reasons for your answers. So let us consider the first statement. The first statement is every natural number is a whole number. The statement is true because the set of natural numbers starts with 1 and the set of whole numbers starts with 0. Hence, the natural number set is included in the whole number set. Therefore, every natural number is a whole number. 
therefore the first statement is true now let us consider the second statement the second statement given is every integer is a whole number the statement is false because integers can also contain negative numbers but the set of whole numbers contain only positive numbers hence every integer cannot be a whole number now we shall consider the third statement statement given is every rational number is a whole number every rational number is a whole number cannot be possible so the statement given is false because the set of rational numbers contain all positive negative and fractional numbers but the set of whole numbers contain only positive numbers therefore every rational number is not a whole number